Why is it that I ask all my clients not to step on the scale after their initial weigh-in when starting a fitness program? Because we're addicted, addicted to the scale. The scale is only one measurement of success, and yet we tend to give it so much attention and devotion. It's like we're a moth to a flame and we hover over it daily hoping for good news. Ask yourself, is the scale weighing you down? While only one barometer of progress, the scale sits on an imaginary throne as the king of results. Why is it that we feel compelled to start our day with a quick hop on the scale when we know that it can be such a fickle and negative driver of emotions? For many, the scale is like a monkey on the back. We lug that number from the scale around with us all day long. We give it permission to weave its way into our self-esteem, our relationships, and our behaviors. Truth be told, the scale, for many people, is an idol. Why can't we put it down? Maybe if we understood some facts about the scale, we'd be able to give it less power than we do over how we feel about ourselves. See, the scale can't measure water, fat, or even the inflammation that our body experiences when it's in recovery mode after we've started a new fitness program. And on any given day, the scale can fluctuate two to four pounds, and that causes people to panic. But for accuracy's sake, let me give you the facts. One pound is equal to 3,500 calories. So unless you've eaten an elephant or have burned 3,500 calories in one day, that increase or decrease that you see on the scale is a result of water, not a result of fat. How can we break free from the magnetic lure of the scale? Put it in the trunk of your car. Leave it in the basement. Or ask a neighbor to hang on to it for you. Look for other telltale signs of success, like more energy, increased strength, clothes fitting better, and a loss of inches. Because you are not a number. The scale, while beneficial, is not the only indicator of success. And while beneficial, it's actually quite a psychological downer. So put some space between you and your love affair with the scale for the health of it. <laughs>